Pour la bande originale du jeu, on essaie d'être très... Pour le soundtrack du jeu, nous essayons d'être très proche de ce qui est fait dans le film. We were constantly asking at each place in the game, why are we putting music here? What is it going to say? So we focused the music on bringing emotion, which is interactive and supports the character's arc. I'm sorry. We make games that are very narrative. We're really into interactive drama. So the soundtrack also had to go in that direction, supporting the three characters' very different stories. My name is Philip Shepard, and I'm a composer and a cellist and a producer. And today we're at Abbey Road Studio One, which is my favorite studio in the world. And today we're recording the soundtrack for Kara. So when I compose a big project, I often travel just to kind of get out you know, and, and get some fresh air and some inspiration. I had a, a log fire in the room that I was staying in and the flames were kind of making absolutely direct music. And it became the basis for Kara's theme and it sounds something like this. <laughs> Now, over the top of that, I found a little theme that just seemed to fit over the top, which is taking Kara's name, Kara, Kara, and just using like a two-syllable motif, and it sounds like this. We're going to pull through this, Alice. As long as we're together, nothing can hurt us. And all the time that's fitting over. So it kind of works in lots of levels. And in fact, every single theme in the score has one of those elements built into it. And it becomes sort of the DNA of every single tune. They're over there! Starting a new project, for me personally, it's always finding the right tone, finding the right color, I like to call it. For me, it's finding that right texture that actually sits against picture really well. One of the biggest things is I created custom instruments for Connor. I pulled out all my vintage synthesizers um, to be able to capture this robotic person, if you will. As soon as you see Connor the first time, there is a really interesting um, thematic idea that you hear, and it's that's just made out of a Moog synthesizer, but completely manipulated in multiple ways. And it's it's robotic. It has a little bit of an emotional to it. it he's he's on his mission, so you feel that as well. So it just kind of gives you that cold, motionless, with a mission in hand that you kind of feel throughout the whole thing. Some people are asking. Have androids become a threat to our security? When I first started really digging in on Marcus, um, the one thing that I really tried to capture was the transformation process. You know, Marcus is this android that evolves over the course of the game and, and really goes from kind of figuring out that he's more than just an android. You know, he's starting to develop kind of a human soul in a, in a way. Um, the other side of Marcus that I really latched onto was that he almost became a savior for a lot of the other androids in the game. So when I started developing the theme for Marcus, I really made it like a church hymn. I wanted it to be very simple. I wanted to make it a chordal melody. I really wanted to make it almost like a Bach hymn. The tough thing with that is it had to be recognizable. If I made it too complex from a harmonic standpoint, it would be hard, I think, for people to kind of pick it out and recognize it. I gotta be honest, when we first started on this path, I said, oh man, this could be pretty messy, you know? I mean, it could feel disconnected and but I mean, it's amazing how they really guided us and got us to really kind of all be in the same world, but at the same time feeling completely different. So it's really gonna stand out and kind of be one of those games where um, people are really gonna notice the music and kind of how it was crafted and, you know, and all the hard work that went into making, being able to pull it off in a graceful way.